You too. What the fuck is good? It's your boy, Professor Rich. Welcome to Fuck Back to the Club channel, man. Please excuse my bonnet. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to keep it real with y'all. I was up 20, 25 hours yesterday. I went to work. I did a live stream on my YouTube channel for the first time. And I was just really working fucking hard. So please excuse me if I wake up in the morning. I'm tired of shit still. The first thing I want to do is make content for you guys. And I don't feel like picking out my fucking afro. Know what I mean? So you can say whatever you want in the comment sections. I do not care what no one thinks about me, bro. The internet is a terrible place. Know what I mean? So y'all can have fun with it. But the topic I'm going to be dis discussing today is I got a DM on Instagram. I'm getting tons of DMs. And I, I love that shit. It's a lot to, a lot to handle. But I'm loving it, man. I'm loving you guys feeling comfortable enough to come to me with your advice. And I do not remember your name, bro. I'm not going to hold you. Because I I get so many DMs, I just put it in my post list. And I usually like to shout people out. But he asked me to... Uh, asked me what the importance of having a deep voice is and how to lower your voice. Um, I'm just going to... I'm going to first just dive into the topic of the importance of having a deep voice as a man. So I'm not trying to play anybody when I say this because I naturally have a deep voice. So I, I guess I'm blessed. You know what I mean? But not everyone has a deep voice. So I want to first start off by saying women naturally and subconsciously tie in high pitched voice with like femininity. So if, and men do too. Have you ever met a dude and he speaks soft as shit like this? Like he don't have no bass in his voice and he, he kind of sound like he's sweet. That, that doesn't, first of all, that doesn't make you put all, put out big, big, big energy. First of all. Second of all. It's just, it's just weak, bro. And if your voice is naturally high pitched, you can't really do nothing about it. But you have to be, re record yourself. Yo, re honestly, get get on your voice, your voice memo app or whatever, and record yourself and speak for a little bit and hear how others hear you because you might not even be conscious of how you sound. But on the other hand, subconsciously, also this is science. Two, women are attracted to men with deep voices and men who speak in a slow, seductive tone. I don't know why, but this is science. This is psychology. There has been tests proven on this. And why do you think the guy on the radio be like, welcome back to smooth jazz on 92.4? I'm your radio host, Cool Jimmy. Like, no, nah, I mean, people net like women are naturally attracted to that. So, when you are talking to a woman, be conscious of your tone. It might take you some practice, and how fast you speak, because people naturally pay more attention to people who speak in a slower uh, speaking pattern. So. I'm going to tell you what not to do because I have a, a good friend of mine. I'm not going to call you out, bro. But he, he tells me he has hard time getting women or speaking. I'm like, well, how do you introduce yourself, bro? He'll be like, well, hi, my name is such and such. And how are you? Like, no, nah, it's like, bro, she, that is going to dry her up, especially if she is, most women are attracted to alpha males and i'm not saying that you have to be alpha male to get woman you can be a bit you can be whoever you want to get woman but on a first in impression standpoint dog you walk up talking like you fucking steve urkel from family matters and you 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 come up oh hi how are you how are you doing that's not i it's not going to get her wet like you if you see a difference like hey what's up my name's rich how are you doing it's just a lot more cool and that probably wasn't the best example for me, but you guys see the difference. Know what I mean? You see the difference. And if 
if you aren't mindful of your, your tone in your voice, how fast you're talking, it it creates a, a completely different vibe on the first impression standpoint as well. So I'm trying to make sure I answer the question. He asked me how how to get your voice deeper. It just takes some practice, bro. To be honest, it takes some practice. It's not going to happen overnight. But it all comes down to also semen retention will make your voice a lot deeper, bro. Because there's life in there's life in semen, dog. Y'all busting multiple nuts a day. You have too much time on your hands. I say this all the time. And you are draining your testosterone as a man. And you wonder why your voice is three pitches higher than it was last week, dog. You don't have any testosterone, bro. And I'm not telling you to go out and smoke some cigarettes to get your voice deeper. I'm not telling you to go out and smoke some weed to get your voice deeper. But you can you can control the like the octave in your voice. You know what I mean? Like you can you can control it a little bit. So just be just be more conscious of how you come off and how you how you talk to people. And you don't have to practice on women. Just practice on regular people every single day, dog. I I stress a lot of getting out your comfort zone. A lot of you guys are scared to talk to women because you're scared of rejection. Just talk to everybody. That is the best way to kill social anxiety. I have a whole video on that. How to kill approach anxiety. How to um kill your social anxiety. Just talk to everybody, bro, on a daily basis. Because sometimes you guys see... I see beautiful women all the time. I don't see them as, oh my God, like she's a fucking... She looks like a fucking model. I see her as a regular person because I talk to women every single day. I talk to everybody every single day. If I'm at Wawa just getting gas, I'm talking to the cashier just to make small talk, just to practice. You know what I mean? And when you practice, if you practice on women, be mindful of how your voice, like your voice octave is. Make Practice lowering it to be a little bit more seductive, a little bit more cool. Talk a little bit slower. Articulate your words. Sound educated. Because... This is a little bit off topic, but if you can code switch as well, this is very important, bro. Because there is there's a time and place for everything. I talked about this in my uh, being a person of color in the workplace. But it also goes for women as well, because I know that's the only reason why some of you guys watch this channel. If... Like me, I'm tall, I got tattoos. I guess some woman perceived that as like uh like hood hood nigga attributes, you know what I mean? But if you hear me talk, I can code switch. I can I can talk like I'm with the homies, but I can also talk like I have a fucking formal education. And I can I can articulate myself and I can ha I can hold a decent conversation with anybody. That's I feel as though that's one of my my naturally God like given gifts that he gave me. So if you you already have that alpha like alpha look the, the stereotypical alpha look and you can code switch and you have that deep seductive voice and you can have an educated conversation that's just going to get her even more watery inside, dog. Like a fucking a fire hydrant, like when they chop the axe off of it and it's, you know what I mean? Because you, you'll be surprised on what you can do or what, what you can say and how you like carry yourself as a man can turn the woman on, bro. I was watching my, my bro at Afi Kingdom's live stream with Ron Wells and the Red Pill Shehovenist. Red Pill, yeah, Red Pill Chauvinist, and a couple other, they, they call themselves the Super Friends, giving out major free game. Um, I'm new to YouTube, and I'm new to the the Red Pill content. They, they're on a whole different level than me. They were talking about how 
I was talking about this on my live stream last night too. They were talking about how you can make a woman orgasm without even touching her, dog. Just by energy alone. And they said it's not going to work for this any regular girl. It has to be a woman that you have a, a connection with and a woman that you like and she likes you. But that is some next level shit, bro. That is some next level shit. And I, I will, I'm going to be on that level one day, but it all comes down to the basics. It all really comes down to the basics. If you do not know how to talk to a woman or if you don't know how to approach a woman, you have to practice that. It's just like any other any other new thing that you learn. You have to practice it. You you have to get comfortable with rejection. You have to get comfortable with sometimes looking like an ass in front of a beautiful woman. It's just all part of the process. You guys try to rush shit. You guys think that you watch a couple. It doesn't have to be my channel. There's tons of other bigger channels than me. I just have a more personal approach with all my my subscribers because i'm still a, a smaller channel i'm a younger channel but stuff is cold mj get right dr lucario afi kingdom ams uh dr boa rom wills who else there's tons of channels you think you watch a couple videos and you can just go out in the world and just start planting planting pipe and all these all these women bro you haven't even you on level negative three bro you haven't even gotten to level zero. You still have to first work on yourself. You guys watch some of these dating coaches thinking that it's all about psychological uh, like mind tricks and shit with women. You have to do the work and self-improve. If you want to have sex with beautiful women, I'm talking about porn star, model, celebrity caliber woman, you need to do the work. There is no one-step magic pill you can take the red pill is awesome. I mean, don't. That's the first step, though. You take the red pill. You want, learn about woman's nature. Y'all spend too much time being mad that your mom lied to you your whole life about how to get woman, dog. You have to get over that shit. You still have to go to the work the next day. You still have bills that are due. Do you have money in your bank account? Can you buy yourself some fucking food? Know what I mean? That's what you need to be worried about. You have to be worried about. Becoming the best version of you every single day. Working on yourself 1% every single day so that you evolve into the purest, best version of you. If you are, bro, if you wake up and you not a little bit better than you were yesterday, you have to fucking reevaluate how you spend your time. I'm talking my shit too in my bonnet and in my robe, dog. If you're not going hard every single day on a daily basis, every single fucking minute, you can chill out for a little bit. I'm gonna chill out today, dog. I, but I'm still, I'm still making content. I'm still working on my purpose. I mean, how long can you go without in this monk mode, not sleeping with women, not smoking your weed, not drinking your liquor, not pertaining to any of your vices? How long can you turn the game off for? I unplugged my PS4 for a year before, dog. I haven't slept with women in a year before. I haven't smoked or drank or had fun in more than a year before to work on my purpose. Y'all just worried about getting pussy, dog. How's your bank account look? Do you have the new J's, but you don't have your shit in order? Do you not have your ducks in a row? And I'm saying this because some of y'all really need to hear this. I got way off topic, but some of y'all really need to fucking hear this shit. I got... Subscribers that are 16 that have more hunger than some of my friends my age. But you guys want to get rich. You guys want to have beautiful women. You guys want to have a bag. You guys want to have a Lambo. But you're not doing shit to work towards it. Not even a little bit. You're not even in the gym. You have a gut. You fat as shit. But you want to get woman? What the fuck just happened, bro? Hey, look, y'all, I appreciate you for tuning in. I think we just had a blackout or some shit, yo. You can't even fake this shit, man. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Yo, this video about to be lit, bro. What the fuck just happened? The fuck? I forget what I was even saying, man. Yo, you can't even fake this shit, dog. This is some raw. Yo, <laughs> don't forget the... Uh, 
Subscribe, comment, like my uh, content, follow me on Instagram, DM me, give me video topic requests, subscribe, share my shit, help me grow my channel. I'm at 400 something right now. Let's get it to 1K real quick, yo. Let's get it to 1K, bro. I'm trying to have some a K behind my shit, bro. But yo, be easy. I appreciate you guys for watching this, man. Stay, stay blessed up. Continue to work on your purpose. I hope I didn't offend anybody. Some of y'all be sensitive as shit. If you're sensitive, you might just have to unsubscribe because I'm going to be keeping a beam with you guys every single video, bruh. Every single video. So, appreciate you guys. Stay blessed up. Peace.